Hold on, I gotta plug in my microphone. Hi everyone, I'm Angie with a painted feather and I'm live here on the Dixie Belle paint page. How are you doing tonight? It's Monday evening. It is 6 p.m. where I'm located in Northern California. And if you're joining from the East Coast, it is 9 p.m. And as you arrive here tonight, let me know where you're watching from and um, tell me what you're working on this week. And yeah, so happy I'm here. I'm here with you every Monday night at the same time. And tonight, I'm going to turn my attention to this piece of furniture next to me here. This is a French provincial um, lingerie cabinet. I'll move you back a little bit so you can see the whole thing, maybe. Let's see. Okay, so there it is. Let's see if you can see me here. All right, I'm going to bump that up just a little bit. Hi, Judy. Let me know where you're watching from here. I'm going to move you guys back in a little bit here. Okay, so what we're going to work on tonight is doing um, a little glamour to this French provincial piece. Hi, Catherine from Tulsa. I see some people coming on here, so let me know where you're watching from. So what we're going to be doing tonight is we're going to add some really pretty shimmer to this piece. And the way that I'm going to do that is with the Moonshine Metallics. Hi, Aviance. Suffolk, Virginia. Hi, Barbara. And I'm going to be using the color, um, this is Rosé. Hello from California. Hi, April. And I've already put a coat of tea rose on this whole piece. Hi, Deb. Hello. How are you? Hello from Pennsylvania. So we have, um, actually, let me tell you. Hi, Francis. Hi, Cindy from Delaware. So let me tell you what I've done. So. This is a French provincial piece of furniture. I cleaned the entire piece with white lightning cleaner. And then I got, hi Patricia, hi Denise. I got all of um, the residue from the white lightning cleaner off. And then I gave this thing a really, really good scuff sand. And um, this is actually wood and the surface wasn't super, super slick. Hi Lynn, hi Carmel from Ireland. Hello, Carmel, or Car is that what it is? Um, sorry if I said your name wrong. Anyway, um, okay, so I want to make this super pretty and I'm not one that always uses a lot of pink. You know, I usually go with a lot of blues or greens, but tonight I'm going glam, I'm going pretty. We're gonna use, um, like I said, tea rose and we're going to use rosé and then we are also going to use um, gold gilding wax as well. Hello from England. There are people all over the world. Um, okay, somebody is on here that refurbishes furniture. If you are um, a retailer of Dixie Belle paint, let us know where your shop is so everybody can know. And if you need to find a local retailer, you can go to DixieBellePaint.com and search for the thing that says, find a retailer in your area. You can even put in your zip code and you'll find out. Okay, so um, all right, got that out of the way. I'm a retailer in Northern California. I have two locations at Whistle Stop Antiques in Santa Rosa and also at Ray's Trading Company out in Sebastopol. And Sebastopol is an interesting, fun place. So come and see us sometime if you're around. Okay, so here is my game plan for this. Now I have already put some of the rosé on the top because I wanted to step back and look at it and then plan where I'm going to put the color and I really are where, where I'm going to put the shimmer and I really like to play with the difference between flat and shiny. Hello from Loma Linda. Hi Kathy. Um, you're a premier retailer in Virginia. Hi Francis. And so anyway, sometimes if you don't know where you're going to put your um, shiny versus keeping flat surfaces, then just if you know that you're going to do the top, then go ahead and do the top and then step back and look at it. So I'm gonna, we're gonna step back and we're gonna look at this and I'm gonna tell you how I came to decide what I'm going to do, okay? So the hardware on here hasn't been done. I'm gonna be doing that in the gold. So I'm gonna have a really shiny gold element right here. And then this is a nice shiny element. So do I do drawer fronts or do I do frame? I decided that since I'm gonna have 
really shiny here and really shiny here that I want to go ahead and do the frame. So we're going to put the rosé here all the way through here on all these trim pieces and on the side, but I will, I will leave the recesses. So right here, I'm going to leave that, um, the flap, and then I will be sealing this with a flat paint too on the places that are not shiny, okay? Now, the rosé does not have to be top coated, so I'm not going to top coat that. Hi, Lynn. Classic Restorations by Lynn. Um, so I'll go over that when we get there. Um, so good scuff sand, wiped off the sanding dust. I put two coats of rosé on here, and now we are ready. Hi, Deanna. Now we're ready to get going with our really, really pretty shimmery moonshine metallic. Now, before I start, I want to show you all the wonderful colors that it comes in. And if you're going to use the Moonshine Metallics, I highly recommend that you put a similar color underneath because if you go straight away and put the Moonshine Metallic right on your piece of furniture, you're not going to get as prominent as of a color on here. So um, you want to put something, a similar color underneath it. And that's why I used the Tea Rose. And this looks like a really, really soft pink. It's just going to punch it up a notch with this really pretty shimmery tone over the top, okay? So um, two coats of this, and then that'll give a really, really nice base to put this on top of. Now, if I just put this straight away on my finish, it would be kind of transparent, and it just wouldn't have um, the vibrancy that it's going to have when I paint it over the tea rose. So here's the colors that these Moonshine Metallics come in. We have the Deep Woods, which is a green tone. Caribbean, which is a beautiful blue, goes great over like Peacock or Mermaid Tail. Rosé, which I'm using tonight. Gold Digger, I ain't saying she's a gold digger. Okay, there's the Gold Digger. Here's Silver Bullet. Oh, let's see, there's Silver Bullet. That looks really nice over the grays. Um, Wedding Bell. This is really pretty. Hold on, let me turn off my light. Okay, that's better. This is really pretty actually to mix with rose. It's kind of a whitish, yellowish, really pretty. Hi, Lisa from North Dakota. Um, then we have Steel Magnolia, which looks amazing over any of kind of the beigey tones and actually can kind of give you a, a brushed metal look. And then we have uh, Pacific, okay? So those are all of the Moonshine Metallic colors. Turning my light back on. And then if you're going to be using these, shake them up. Steel Magnolia is your favorite used over mud puddle. I saw that. The Furniture Duchess is on here. Um, I, I saw somebody do that. I don't know if it was you. It looked amazing. So, okay, so I don't want to get the Moonshine Metallic over on my drawers. So I'm going to pull these drawers out. The reason I have the other drawer pulled out is because I already did the um, gilding wax on the hardware and I didn't want you to see it because it looks so pretty. I'm saving that for the end. Um, I have numbered my drawers so I know where this is going to go back because I wrote it on the back. You just did the same color combination on a jewelry box. Send me the picture, Deanne. I want to see it. I want to check it out. Okay, so I'm going to pull these out carefully. And then we will get to painting. That one I wanted to stick in there. So this is a really easy way to paint and not get the, the shiny on the places where you don't want it. So I could put the rosé over the whole thing and that looks beautiful as well. But um, like I said, I really like to play with the textures and sometimes having matte and gloss together just looks incredible. So that's what we're going to go with. And then I'll pop the drawers back in and we'll do some, um, we'll do some of the gilding wax too. So somebody's asking me where I get my pieces. I get them at thrift shops, I get them at garage sales, I have people that drop them off 
in my driveway because I know I love furniture and it's like I'm the um, lady to drop your orphan furniture off to. So all sorts of places. Hi B from Santa Rosa. Hello Kathy. So I have my flat small brush and the reason I'm using this is because look at that. It's like perfect, right? I mean, we'll just get right up in there and I won't have to worry about it going all over the place. So we're going to use my flat small and I'm going to move a couple drawers out of the way here so I can pull you in a little closer. Hold on. Okay, I didn't do very well with my space planning tonight. Okay, let's pull you in. You can see how this is going to go on. Now you can thin this. This is water-based just like the Dixie Belle paint, but let's try it out as it is and see how it goes. Okay, so just nice, smooth strokes. If you go the wrong direction, then just smooth it out. You know, sometimes you have to get in, which I'm getting up here too, but that's already painted, so that's okay. Just, even though there's no like wood grain, I always just kind of go, you know, in the same direction so that you get a nice smooth result. And Dixie Belle paint is self-leveling, so that's good. You kind of get up in there and then just smooth it out. And look how nice that's going on. Isn't that pretty? So if you never use these and you don't know how to, now you don't have an excuse. Now you know how to use these. Just put a similar color underneath. It can be a little different. And then get to painting. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch directions. I'm gonna go a long ways down. And there are recesses back behind here, so I'm not too worried about getting on the spots where I don't want the paint. So I do have some baby wipes handy if I do get it on the surfaces where I don't want it. But all right, how are we doing out there? Hi, Linda. Well, actually, okay, Lisa, so let me tell you something. I'm actually right-handed, but because my camera is reversed, it looks like I'm left-handed. So my mom actually watched one of my videos and was like, are you a left-hander now? And I'm like, nope, this camera, because we have to flip it around so that we can see all the comments and whatnot. It makes me look like I'm a lefty, so that might make your brain hurt a little bit. Do you have to seal the moonshine? No, you do not have to seal the moonshine metallics. If you want extra protection on it, you can. I'm gonna turn off my light to see if it's better for you guys. Seems like it's really bright here. Uh, nope. Hello from Mag Magnolia, Texas. Hello, hi Ginger. I'm gonna turn my light back on because that didn't work. But see if I can adjust it back a little bit. Okay, this is looking good. I'm going to smooth out something right there. And I'm going to move you guys back so that you can see what I'm doing. How are you guys doing out there? If you have questions, feel free to ask. Um, another person from Magnolia, Texas, is that where Joanna and Chip are from? I mean, their place is called Magnolia, and they are in Texas, right? And have you been there? I want to go. That would be pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way down here. And I'm being careful not to get it on the recessed area because I don't want to have to fix it, but if I do, no big deal. So just kind of a light touch with the synthetic brushes. Some of it gathered in, in that little recess there and, and was dripping out, so I just fixed that. Okay. Oh, please wear a, a mic. Okay, I'll just talk this way. I actually have a microphone on here, so I'll just try to face more this way instead of talking in the opposite direction. So this mic is supposed to work pretty well. 
but if I talk the other way, it's not going to work so well. So, okay, I'm going to get down here, get up close and personal with my piece of furniture. Okay. But maybe I need to get a microphone. Okay, you're an elite from Grandview, Texas. Awesome. Okay. All right, this is looking really pretty and adding some glamour. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this whole bottom piece. Can you guys see it? Let me back you up. Okay, Christy hears me. I'll try to keep looking this way, okay. I'm gonna move you down for when I'm down low here. And we're gonna go across this whole bottom piece. This is gonna look so pretty when I put the drawers in. And then we'll work on gilding wax. So nice, smooth strokes. This is nice, actually the consistency of this is not super thick or anything, so it's going on really well. And I'm not seeing a bunch of brush strokes. Now you can apply this with that, with the blue sponge if you have, are fighting with it and having problems with brush strokes, but usually if you're having problems with brush strokes, it's because underneath it wasn't super smooth. So um, I had a really nice clean finish on this and so the brush strokes, I'm not seeing any. So that's good. Okay, now I'm just gonna come up this other side. I missed a little spot here. Oh, this is looking so good. I've been wanting to do this combination for a while now. I keep seeing people do this. And I've had this piece for a bit, and I looked at it and said, okay, you're up. And I'm gonna go ahead and go up this whole side. Let's see if you guys can still see me. Bring you up a little bit. Okay, let's go up this whole side here. I'll have to be careful when I put the drawers in so we can kind of have the final reveal here, but I think we're going to be okay. Now, if you do want to make sure that you don't um, get your paint like in the recessed area on the side there, you can tape it off or I like to grab like a file folder and just hold it up against the side. And that way you don't have to take it off, but you're not gonna get it down. If anything that's kind of a sturdy, flat um, surface, you can just you know, prevent it from going back where you don't want the paint to go. I'm just doing nice, even strokes here. Let's see, can you still see me? And then we're just going to do in between the drawers. And when I'm off camera, I'll do the, the framing on the sides too, but I'm not going to worry about that right now because I want to show you the um, gilding waxes. And then I'm thinking about on the top if I want to add a little gold to the top trim, but we can talk about that in a little bit here. Okay, if I'm missing your questions, I'll circle back later and answer. Just getting this whole side here, and then we'll get the trim pieces in between the drawers. Sometimes you do need to do two coats of the Moonshine Metallic. Sometimes you can get away with one, so just depends. So this is looking really nice, so I don't know if I'm going to have to go back or not, but got to let it dry first to decide. And this, like, it goes a long way. And so the Moonshine Metallic just comes in this one size, the 16 ounce size. So I think I'm missing a question right now. I can't quite see it from here, so if anybody else is on there and then can answer, if Dixie Bell is on there or if there's other retailers on there that want to answer that, 
help me out, you can answer it for me. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to pull you guys in a little bit here and we'll do the pieces, the little trim pieces in between here. Okay. Okay, yep, I'm going to do gold on the hardware, which will look really pretty. And let's do, let's get all these little trim pieces here. Thank you for answering questions for me. Everybody, I appreciate it. I brought you in a little closer so you can hear me, hopefully. All right. This is great for, you know, if you want to have a, a glammy girl room, even if you're a boy, whatever, whatever, you, no judgment. But um, if you want to do a real pretty thing for a little girl, too, this is... A gorgeous combination. And this brush is fantastic. The synthetic brushes leave minimal brush strokes and just put the paint on the surface really nicely. If you see something that kind of went wayward, you can smooth it out with this brush. Just go in the direction that the paint's going. Okay, see how nice that's looking? you up a little bit we'll get all these details and then we'll talk about other things that we can do and like I said I'm going to show you the gilding wax colors and we'll put on some gilding put some gilding wax on the hardware I'll try to get some drawers in without messing up my paint Missed a little spot right there. You kind of see it better when it dries. Just three more left. How are you doing out there? Okay, this is looking amazing. Thank you for answering. Okay, hi Riza. I get shinier and shinier just like the paint does the longer I'm on here. Okay. It's good to have oily skin though. <laughs> Not too many wrinkles. Uh, okay. All right, so got two more left. Use a stencil on the sides. Actually, that's a good idea, Ginger. I could do the, um, Oh, I have a couple. I have the damask stencil. That would actually look really pretty. I think that's a great idea. I think I'm going to do that. I have it here, too. That's a great idea. I like it. Yep, we could do that. And Or the Moroccan one, but the damask one would look really pretty. Probably won't get to that on this video, but maybe for my video tomorrow on Chalk Paint 101. Yeah, good, good. Okay. Oh, you mean use the gold on the top? We might, I might do around the trim on the top. That would be really pretty. Okay, I'll have to see if it's dry enough to do, and maybe we'll do that too. Okay, I am done with these trim pieces for now. And now I'm going to, I'm going to put some drawers in, but I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to show you the gilding wax colors. I need to put my brush in a bag, so hold on one second. Do that. Show you my building wax colors. And then I got a tiny bit of paint on the floor, so bear with me for one second. I'm gonna get the paint off the floor. Although these floors are indestructible, so I'm not too worried about it. But, okay. 
Got that off of there. So let's, let me show you the gilding wax colors. I actually just made a little board and I posted a picture of it and everybody likes my little board. So, okay, here's the gilding wax colors. So I was just using the flat small brush, Joanna, um, which is a synthetic brush by Dixie Bell. So, okay, so we have gold, we have silver, zinc, um, copper, bronze, black, and then, thank you. Isn't this board good? I, this is salvage wood from Ray's Trading Company. Um, and then these are really cool. I actually have two different colors of paint on here. So I have um, Annabelle and blue and cotton. And this is how the, um, this is how the chameleon waxes react to the different colors. So this is the lilac, this is the apricot, and this is the cactus. And see how it reacts differently depending on what you put it on. So that's two different colors and you can see that. So if you want it to have a prominent color, then use a darker color. If you want it to be just a kind of um, iridescent sheen, then use a light color, okay? So we're going gold because look at that. We're gonna go gold with this and it will look really pretty. So let me find drawer number two. Let's see, I already did drawer number one. Okay, I've got drawer number two. Hello, watching from Vermont. Hi, Susan. Okay, so here is, actually I'll keep you guys up close and personal and we'll do gilding wax on here. So yeah, that's a synthetic brush. It's the flat, small synthetic brush by Dixie Bell. Here is my gold gilding wax. And I'm gonna just, this one's already, the top is already loose. I can use a brush, I can use my finger, however you wanna do it, but I want you to be able to see this because it comes out really nice. And I'm just gonna get a little bit on my finger here and then we're gonna just hit the tops. I can like spray paint this if I want to, like the hardware when it's off and give it um, like a, you know, just one color and then put gilding wax over it or just go straight away with the gilding wax. So I don't know if this is gonna be better with the light or worse with the light. Let me try it without the light for a second. Okay. Let's see. You can see it with, with versus without. Okay, so don't get too much on your finger. See this gilding wax? We're just hitting the high points here. I'll turn the light back on in a second too. That might be better. But look at how much it's just glamming it up. You can add more or less in certain areas. See how pretty that is versus so this side versus this side. I'm gonna try the light again, see if that's any better. Okay, I think that's better. Isn't this great? The, the gilding wax, if you haven't used it and you're like, what is this stuff for? It's just really amazing. Like I use it on trim, on edges of things. I use it, actually I use it all over the surface sometimes too, just depending. I mean, it's just such a great product. So, okay, Let's see if I can get you in here. And just, it's just hitting the high points. It's so simple for hardware. And yet makes such an impact. And so you wanna let this dry for well, about four hours and then you can buff it and you don't have to seal it because it is self-sealing. So really awesome, awesome product. And comes in all these amazing colors that you can see on my cute little board that I made. So, okay, so let's look. And I accidentally got a little bit on the paint, so I'm just gonna take a baby wipe and wipe it off. Okay, so a little baby wipe takes care of that. So now we've got this really pretty gold 
on this super soft matte pink and that looks amazing. So let's now, I actually did another one too. So I'm gonna pop these in while trying not to hit my paint. There we go. Look at that. Okay, let's bring it in here. Oh, this is gonna look so good. Okay, so there's that. And then we can decide if we wanna do gold around this top trim. I think we should. Okay, so that's the top two. I wanna show you what the, the hardware looked like without anything on it. Is this, yeah, here's drawer three. Okay, so that's, that's the hardware before. See the hardware without that gold on it versus with the gold on it. So let's, let's get this one dressed up too. Okay, so not too much, just a little bit on here. Let me see, pull you in, maybe it'll be easier to see this on here. But look at that, it's not pretty. Okay. So I'm just hitting all the high points on our hardware. And it's nice because it's got a little bit of darkness recessed in there. It's kind of like when you use a glaze to put a dark, you know, a dark recess and then hitting the high points with a wax. So, but this already had kind of a built-in darkness to it. So now we're just gonna pop out the details and add a little shine with the gold. Isn't that cool? Got, it's just nice to play with different sheens and different textures. And then, yeah, if I add a stencil on the sides, I think that will be really nice too. And I can do it in the moonshine metallic, either the gold or the um, rosé. I'll probably do the rosé to keep it just very classy looking and um, muted and in line with everything else. I just want the gold to be kind of pops. So isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna scoot you back so you can see that. Okay, can you hear me now? Is that better? Let me know if you can hear me. I just unplugged my microphone. I think my microphone is not working. All right, are you there? Hello? Okay, hold on, let's see. Better? Okay, can you hear me now? Let me know if you can hear me. Um, I will just put some gilding wax on. Okay, good. All right. I, I think my microphone battery may have just died on us, so we'll just keep on cruising on here. All right. I'll just keep you nice and close so you can hear me. And I think, let's see, what time are we at? I think let's think about doing the gold on the, the top here. I think around 
this trim. It's nice and dry now, so I think I can do that. Okay, I'm glad you can hear me now. <laughs> All right, so do we all think we should do gold? Tell me, tell me yes if you think we should do gold on this detail. Thanks, Jen. And I think I'll do that. We'll decide. Okay, thank you, Deanna. I'm just working out, doing a little more gilding wax down on this one. I'm gonna put the drawers in. And Okay, volume is perfect. Thanks, Jen. Thank you, Amber. Okay. There we go. All right. See how that's looking? Okay, Ginger says yes. All right, yes, gold. All right, let's do some gold. Why not? Let's get it on there. So let's bring you in so you can still hear me. And I'm going to do some gold on that top trim. Okay. And so, gold detail, let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna get the uh, more bling. Deb says more bling. <laughs> All right, can hear you, but I'm loving your chair. So around their table. Oh, they are pretty chairs, aren't they? <laughs> Thank you. Let's see my chairs. Yeah, those chairs are nice, huh? They look good. All right, so let's do some goldie on the top. All right, let's see. How do I want to put that on? Got my sponge. I've got a little thing I might do. So I've got Moonshine Metallic. I kind of thought we would do this. It's easier to use. Hold on, I see somebody's question. It is easier to use the gilding wax before installing the handles. You can do it, yes, yeah, Susan, right on. You don't have to have it installed, but for the purposes of this video, I figured I would let you guys see it right on there so that I could pop it on and then we could see um, how it looked. Used gold today on candle holders, didn't know I needed to buff. You don't have to buff, Linda, but you can. It'll, it'll shine it up a little bit. Okay, I have to bang this on the floor because my metallic isn't opening up, so hold on one second. I can run this under hot water too, but I'm just gonna bang it on the floor. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. All right, so. Let's get this gold on. I'm gonna use Gold Digger. I could use also the um, Gemstone Mousse, which I have here too. Uh, I don't know if I want it as bright as the Gemstone Mousse. So I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna use the Moonshine Metallic, and I just have a little crafter's brush here. Just happen to have that handy right next to me. So hey, let's use that. And let's see, if I get a little bit wayward, that's okay. I'll pull you in. And let's get a little gold. I'm just going straight from the lid. And I've got this nice, actually this brush is great because it's kind of a stiff bristle brush. And can go right up against this lip. And all will be good in the world here. I might have to do a couple coats, but this is going on beautifully. Let's see if I can get you in here. Let me bring you up a little higher. Hold on one second. Okay, have you a little higher now. And let's get you closer. You can see the action here. All right. So this, this is just a crafting brush because I don't want to use a real big one. And the nice, the bristles are nice and stiff on here. So this is working out to just bring it right up on that lip and not go too far over it. So, oh yeah, and I'm trying not to get it too thick. This is so pretty. Yeah, I'm glad I actually use, I, the Moonshine Metallics are a little bit, um, transparent 
And so it lets a little bit of the color from underneath come through. You can add coats to it if you want to build the color. But in this case, I'm really liking how this is looking. So it goes nice smooth. This is a synthetic brush too. It's not a Dixie Belle brush, but got to use the tools that are going to work for what you're doing. So I use all the Dixie Belle brushes. I love them. Okay, look at how amazing that is. I'm going to back you guys up in just a second so we can see how it's looking overall. And then we can have a little Q&A session if you have any questions. I'm just going around this rim here. I love painting French provincial dressers, or this is more of a lingerie chest, but so pretty. And the gold with the pink is just so impactful and so pretty. And I love that Dixie Bell has all of these different products at our disposal, which is why I sell it, why I became a retailer of the Dixie Bell paint line, because there's so many kind of tools to use to make furniture beautiful. Okay. So let me go to the other side here, and then I'm going to back you guys up, and you can get a look at how it's how it's shaking out here. All right, that's yeah. I just I love the sheen of the moonshine metallics. You don't have to top coat it. I probably will end up top coating this because this is a piece that I'm going to sell, and I want it to be really durable. So on the flat on the um, parts that are just tea rows, the drawers, I'll pull them out and I'll put a flat clear coat on. And on the glossy parts, I'll probably use gator hide actually. But maybe the gloss, if I wanna keep it super shiny, actually I'm thinking out loud here, I'll probably end up using the gloss clear coat because I wanna keep those parts really shiny. So if you wanna keep your shiny parts really shiny, use the gloss clear coat if you're going to put a clear coat but you don't have to. So but since I'm selling it and I want it to be durable, I will be putting a clear coat on it just for fun. Okay, all right, let's back it up. And let me drop you down a little bit here. All right, and I'm just gonna pop these final drawers in. They don't, I don't have a gilding wax on them, but I just wanna pop in these drawers so you can see the overall. And get the last drawer. Lost the drawer for a second, okay. Okay, so this is how we're looking. Isn't that pretty? Yep, that's a, so if you are just joining late, we have T Rose, we have, so this is T Rose, this is the Moonshine Metallics and Rose. This is Gold Digger by, in the Moonshine Metallics, and then we have the Gilding Wax in Gold. Um, Thank you, hi Francis. I'm not AJ, I'm Angie, but they both start with an A. I do love AJ though, so if you thought it was her for a second, I'm flattered. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, so what do you guys think about that? Give me a heart if you like how this turned out. I think it's really, really pretty. And um, yeah, so clean your piece, scuff sand. Thank you for the hearts. Um, T Rose. Oh, there's lots of hearts coming. You guys like it. Isn't that beautiful? Um, yep. 
moonshine metallics in two colors. Ooh, lots of hearts. <laughs> and um, yeah, thank you, Riza. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Melanie. So um, you were just commenting. Oh, you were talking about another message, Frances. I do love AJ. She's amazing. And we both wear hats a lot. So if you did confuse us, that's all right. Okay, so anyway, thank you guys for watching tonight. Um, I am here every Monday night and love to be here. Thank you, Deanna. Thank you, Deb. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, so glad I finally did. Um, go to the Painted Feather by Angie, and yeah, I think I will put some on the bottom. Um, Furniture Duchess, I will put some on there. And then I'll post pictures of how this all shakes out. I'll be on Chalk Paint 101 tomorrow, and I'll probably actually do some stenciling and finish this up on there. So you can tune in there at one o'clock on Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. And um, yeah, go follow and like my page. Thank you for joining. Thank you, Catherine. And um, if you need to buy some Dixie Pell paint, you can click on that link in the description of this video to get it straight to your door, delivered straight to your door, or find a retailer in your area. A bunch of people posted on this video that they're retailers. And um, oh, thank you, Francis. And hope you have a great week. It's Monday, so go out and make it an awesome week. And I will be back next Monday. And like I said, be on Chalk Paint 101 tomorrow. All right, everyone, hello from Wales. You're waiting for this color combination to arrive in your first order. Awesome. Good. Go paint some things, everyone. I will see you all soon. And go over and follow my page. Thank you.